Hi everyone, Library Linda here. Welcome to this week's edition of Did You Know? Did you know, on January 17th in 1871, gentleman Andrew Hallecky got a patent for the first ever cable car? It wasn't until two years later that it was first used in San Francisco, and they still use them today. On January 17th of 1929, Popeye the Sailor debuted in a newspaper comic strip called The Thimble Theater. Olive Oil was the main character in the Thimble Theater comic strip that was created in 1919 by Elsie Chrysler Segar. Olive Oil's boyfriend, Harold Hamgravy, and her brother, Castor Oil, hired Popeye the Sailor Man to crew a ship to take them to a casino. A couple weeks later, he made a reoccurring um, appearance in the comic strip to crew the ship back home. And um, he became so popular that people were writing into the creator to bring back Popeye. So he brought him back as a uh, regular character and his popularity just kept growing and growing till the creator finally changed the name from Thimble Theater to Thimble Theater starring Popeye the Sailor, and then eventually to just be Popeye the Sailor Man. Did you know, on January 18th of 1803, President Thomas Jefferson requested funds from Congress for the exploration of the Louisiana Purchase? This exploration became Lewis and Clark's expedition. Did you know, January 23rd of 1849, Elizabeth Blackwell became the first woman doctor? Elizabeth Blackwell was originally from Bristol, England, and she moved to the United States to be a teacher, and she was living with a doctor and his family in the Charleston area. Um, after a few years, she started moving uh, further north up the East Coast, and she moved into Virginia, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and into New York all the time living with other doctors' families. Um, one doctor in particular allowed her to read medical journals and suggested to her that she try and enroll in a medical college. She did. She um, enrolled in the Geneva Medical College in uh, upstate New York. And the Dean of Students there would only allow her to enroll if all 150 male students agreed to allow her to. And they thought, hey, yeah, let's do this, because they thought it was a big joke that a woman was going to try and be a doctor, because they thought she was going to get all squeamish with the first sight of blood. Well, after two years of medical school, she became the first woman doctor. Did you know carrots originally weren't orange? They were purple. The Romans brought the carrots from Persia into Europe. And a Dutch farmer in the 17th century started cultivating a mutated form of this carrot that was orange in color. And he said that he was growing them in honor of their leader, William of Orange. Did you know, on January 23rd of 1986, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inducted their first class of inductees into the Hall of Fame. They included Chuck Berry, James Brown, Ray Charles, Sam Cooke, Pat Domino, the Everly Brothers, Buddy Holly, Jerry Lee Lewis, Little Richard, and Elvis Presley. After Cleveland was selected as the place to build the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it wasn't until 1995 that the building actually opened for public entrance. I hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Did You Know? I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.